Hi guys, I am Shazal and uh, welcome on our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the CD. How exactly you can seed your data or the data tables by using the seeders available in the Laravel 10. So for those person who just joined us on our YouTube channel, I request them please click on subscribe button and pressing the bell icon so you never miss any update. So let's get started. Okay guys, so now you are fully familiar with the model migrations. So now if you talk about the seeders, you can seed your tables or your database by using the seeders. So first of all, you have to create the seeder class. So it's available in the database. As you can see, in the database, you have the seeders. So now I'm saying CLS, first of all. So you need to create the seeder class. Now I am saying php artisan make cedar. You have to define your cedar class. Let's suppose I am saying subject cedar. Fine. Just click on the enter button. The subject cedar available here. So here, as you can see, it's saying run. So now here I am saying I need to create the db db to insert the record. I am saying table table which is my subject table so we can see the subject tables subjects i'm saying name or oh, name of the table which is the subject and now here you can use the insert insert method and insert method take associative array to fall the name of the column Let's suppose name the value. Let's suppose I'm saying Java and also comma separate three values for three columns. So you know very well the class. I'm saying this is for uh, juniors or beginners. And now the price, the price for sorry, it's price. And price for the beginners is I'm saying 20, 20 dollars. Let's suppose. So this is the first result. The second result you can separate with the like this. Now, so these are the three different. I'm saying. Coding nighter. Uh, I'm saying beginners, so it's 100. And now, if you talk about the, uh, I'm saying cake PHP or Falcon, or if I say that Django or Python, any any language or any framework, so it's also, let's suppose I'm saying 250. So you have one array, you have second array, you have third array. Make sure you are passing the array. So that's why you have to use the created and also the updated. Okay, for now, I'm just going to use the seeder. So now, how can you run the seeder? You can run the seeder by using the command I'm saying PHP artisan PHP artisan DB seed. So when you use this command, so the, the system automatically executed all the DBs available here. You can define the DBs like uh, we have defined here. You can attach this one and run this command. So now I'm saying class, I'm specifying which class you need to execute. So copy this one, this class, hit the enter button. So now, as you can see, seeding database. So now go to the page, refresh the page. As you can see, you have the Java and the values are null. Why? Because you have to define these one since this is the create method that is the 
so this is my bad so i have to create this in a specific array so this is the array and now we have these value since we have already created this one java and also we have to use the core one core one core one now method for the columns which columns i'm saying uh, the columns inserted at inserted at and also updated at updated at make sure separate column separate column and also separate column fine i'm saying java 2 for now so now i'm saying run this again It's saying column not found, unknown column inserted at fine. So now, sorry, it's not an inserted at, it's a created at, created at, and also the updated at. I thought I'm using the coding at. So it's a created at, not inserted at. Once again, Hit the enter button you are seeding fresh the page so now you have the java coding data and also the python so here in this way you can use or you can use the seeders to seed your database so let's suppose uh, if i say php artisan uh, migrate migrate and i'm saying refresh and now i'm saying see just hit the enter button so now you are roll back you are roll backing and now as you can see this is the empty but when you check the subjects so you will have the seeds here now why not it's here because you have to define which seeder you are going to execute since you are executing the seeders manually so now you have to define the seeders here database okay so now i'm saying this i'm saying call and here we have to define the subject seeder and then class so you have to define Subject seeds here once again. Now I'm saying fresh define. You have to give the column here. We forgot the column. Once again, seeds as you can see, subject seeders you have running and you have done. So now, once you open this one, so now you have the seeders we have used the migrations and we have successfully inserted or seed our tables so now i'm going to remove the java first of all in java coding editor and this is the python and why not the laravel i'm saying laravel laravel for beginners it's very costly so you know very well that we, we are using corbin now to add the current date so once again php artisan refresh seed fine so here laravel java coding editor python you can also insert the default values in any tables by using seeder okay so now Let's suppose I'm going to create the factory. Let me create it. 
CLS. Okay, so now I am saying PHP artisan make factory. And now I am saying subject factory. And the model name is model name is the name of the model. So since the name of the model is where is the model? So this is the model. Model name subject. So you have to give this model name. Fine. Just hit the enter button. We have successfully created the factory. In the factory, as you can see, you have the subject factory. Now here you can define the data which you want to insert so let's suppose i'm saying that i need the name sorry i need the name let's suppose i'm saying use the use the faker and now i'm saying uh name so they don't have the subject so that's why i'm using the name name and also three other fields you know very well that this is the class and this is a subject uh sorry price so class and price so now if i say price faker price Surprise, I think not available. Address is available. String. So let's suppose I am giving the address here because address is available. And now I am using the random or I think the random digit. Random digit. So now you have created the definitions so now in the user factory which is the this one i'm going to comment this one here i'm saying subject model and i'm saying factory and now i'm saying count uh i'm saying 50 50 records or let's suppose i'm saying 60 or 30 records and now i'm saying create so if you are inserting the manually you can use the manually otherwise we have defined the secret class here so now once again cls i'm saying refresh factory all sorry we are migrating fine so running so now check the data so you have the 50 records or the 30 records we have used so in this way you can use the factory to insert the data to feed the data by using the seeders okay guys so in this way you can seed your data by using the seeders in laravel 10 so i hope guys you are enjoying our videos if you think we are doing good thumbs up feel free to share our courses with your friends especially on social networks and please support us and our channel by clicking subscribe button and pressing the bell icon so you never miss any update so thank you for watching